Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is this kind of shimmery, smoky, glam look. I did do a speed through full face tutorial. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. All right guys, so I decided to use my Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette to achieve this look. I'm first starting out with the shade Amen on a fluffy brush. I did put down some Urban Decay primer, so I'm just using this all over the lid to set the primer. Next up, going into one of my favorite transition shades, Ashes. I'm just using the fluffy brush again, and I'm just running this all through the crease, and then I'm starting to kind of focus it on the outer V area, just to kind of smoke it out. Next up into the shade Crucifix, I'm using this just to start deepening up the crease. And then back into Ashes just to kind of blend everything together. Then I decided I wanted a lot more depth, so now I'm going with the shade Sabbath, which is the black shade, but still on the fluffy brush. I'm trying to keep most of the dark color towards the crease, and then I'm just kind of dragging the color down onto the lid, making it almost just kind of a, a smoky, deep gray on the actual lid itself. Now I'm taking a flat brush and spraying it with some Mario Badesco spray, and I'm going into the shade Cathedral. This color is so beautiful. It's almost like a deep silver with like a purpley blue shift. I started out by focusing this close to the lash line, but then I decided I wanted to go ahead and just place it all over the lid. So I'm just patting it on top of the color I already had. Now I'm spraying a smaller flat brush and going into the shade Heaven. This one's kind of the lighter silver that almost has kind of a purpley pink shift to it. And I'm placing this right on the center of the lid just to add a little bit of light into that center, basically making like a spotlight. Now taking a tapered brush, I'm going back into Sabbath and I'm using this to very gently deepen up that crease even more. I'm trying not to make this too blown out. And then of course back in with my fluffy brush into ashes just to make sure it stays blended. Now to get the other eye caught up. Now I'm just using heaven on that same brush just to kind of add some highlight to the inner corner. And now on to the face. So I'm first starting out with my milk blur stick as a primer and I'm just putting this all over the face and rubbing it in. For foundation, I'm using my Fenty foundation in the shade 140. I figured a nice full coverage foundation would be good with this look. For bronzer, I'm trying out this sample I got of the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I have actually never tried it before. Um, I do like it, but I don't know that it will replace my butter bronzer. That is still my favorite. And I am also just using that bronzer to do a light contour. Honestly, I'm a lazy contour person, so I'd rather use bronzer. For blush, I'm using the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, one of my favorites. For highlight, I decided to try out this highlighting palette I got from Black Heart Beauty at Hot Topic. It's the Saturn's Glow palette. I will say the shade that I chose to use, this kind of white shade, wasn't the best one. It's a bit chunky and not very pigmented, but the other shades in the palette are actually really good. Now for brows, I'm using the MAC Brow Pencil in the shade Spike just to fill them in. And now to finish off the eyes, I'm going back into the shade Sabbath with a flat angled brush, and I'm using this to line the lower lash line. Then I'm taking kind of a flat, semi-fluffy brush into the ashes, and I'm gonna use this just to completely smoke out that lower lash line. Then I'm taking a really teeny tiny flat angled brush and wetting it with that Mario Badesco spray, going back into Cathedral, and I'm using this to line directly on the lower lash line just to kind of give a little bit of shimmer. And I really wanted to amp up the sparkle, so I decided to use my Stila Magnificent Metal in Diamond Dust just to deposit a little bit of silver glitter right to the center of the lid. And I also decided to pop it on the inner corner just to jazz that up a bit. 
And of course, this should surprise nobody who watches my channel, I am using my Tarte Tardis Double Ended Liner to do a nice black wing. Then using the other side, the pencil side, to just add some black right into the waterline. And another favorite, I am using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And this time I did actually use the Lash Paradise on my lower lashes, but I hate using this large brush on my lower lash line. For lips, I'm using one of the Too Faced Liquid Lipsticks from the I Want Candy Collection. This is the Fresh Baked shade. And while that's drying, I'm just going to add some Ardell lashes just to really amp up the look. And I really didn't want a matte lip, so I decided to top it with the Fenty Gloss Balm. All right guys, so here is the finished glam look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a like below if you did, and thank you for watching. Bye guys.